What's going on everybody, Lehman Griffin here and today we're going to be doing a little bit different video. We're going to be covering a topic that you cannot go anywhere on the internet without seeing and that is do aftermarket parts automatically void my car or truck's warranty. So you can't go anywhere on the internet these days without stumbling upon a topic where somebody posts a question. Hey guys, uh, what intake system can I put on my car or truck that won't automatically void my warranty? Or what exhaust system? Or, hey, does anybody know uh, if this will void my warranty? It's such a common question and the answer might surprise you. So let's go see what we can find. So the Magnuson Moss Warranty Act, I'm going to read a little excerpt here. Uh, the Magnuson Moss Warranty Act passed by Congress in 1975 governs the warranties on consumer products. I can't read very well with these, put on my reading glasses, much better. <clears throat> the Magnuson Moss Warranty Act passed by Congress in 1975 governs the warranties on consumer products. It was designed to help consumers understand, compare, and enforce the warranties on their products. The federal statute protects consumer rights by compelling warranters to use clear language and complete information in their warranties and to avoid deceptive practices. Any consumer product that come blah, 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 blah. any consumer product that comes with a warranty, including car parts and accessories, must comply with the act. The Federal Trade Commission (FTC) has since been reminding consumers of their rights to install aftermarket parts without fear of having their warrant. The Federal Trade Commission (FTC) have since been reminding customers the Federal Trade Commission FTC has since been reminding consumers of their rights to install aftermarket parts without the fear of having their warrant I can't do that <clears throat> the Federal Trade Commission has since been reminding customers the Federal Trade the Federal Trade Commission FTC has since been reminding consumers of their rights to install aftermarket parts without the fear of having their warranties voided Let's say your windshield wiper is broke and you decide to replace some aftermarket windshield wipers from a different manufacturer. Your car's warranty doesn't get canceled or voided and your... This is getting kind of difficult to follow. Um, let me change glasses here and let's show you a real world scenario. So I just purchased this cold air inductions intake system, as you can see right here, for my truck. And my truck is a 2019 Silverado and obviously it's still under the factory warranty. So the fear is if I were to take my truck into service, I would need to remove my intake system so that they didn't know I swapped it out so that they would honor my warranty. And that's just not the case. The Magnus and Moss Warranty Act actually protects consumers from practices like that. It prevents manufacturers from being able to tie in warranty with you using OEM parts. In other words, they can't make you use their OEM parts in order to retain their warranty. The only way they can is if that part is provided free of charge under the warranty. So what that means for you is, 
If this intake system right here is going to ruin your warranty, the only way that it can do it is if the dealership can prove or the OEM, the manufacturer, can prove that this intake system directly caused your warranty claim. So under the Magnus and Moss Warranty Act, the burden of proof falls under the dealership. So it's the dealership's responsibility to prove that your aftermarket part directly caused or was related to the defect that is the reason that you're bringing your vehicle to the service department. So for example, if I was installing this intake system and in doing so, let's say that I this connector right here, the mass airflow sensor, let's say that I pinched a wire. Now, if I took it to the dealership for an engine misfire and the dealer inspected this connection and found that the wire was pinched, then the dealer could prove that my installation of this intake system caused this failure and therefore they would not cover it under the warranty. But let's say you've got a different scenario. Let's say you take it in for the alternator not charging. The only way that the dealer cannot approve this warranty claim is if they can prove that this aftermarket part right here caused this alternator to fail. And it's very unlikely that that would happen. So I've also got wheels and tires on my truck, as you can see right here. They're 24 inch replica wheels on mud terrains. In order to fit those tires, I had to put a two inch leveling kit. So to do that, I had to take apart the suspension here and install the leveling kit. Let's say I went to the dealership for a warranty claim and my engine was running rough. Well, they would have to prove that the part that I installed directly caused my engine to run rough in order to deny my warranty claim. So as you can see, the trend we're starting to develop here is just because you have an aftermarket part on your car does not mean that the dealer can void your warranty. It does not mean that your entire car or truck warranty is null and void. The only thing that it means is if in fact the dealer can prove again that what you installed or what you had installed was the direct cause or related to the warranty claim, then they have to repair it for you. So, in conclusion, guys, the most important thing you can do is do your research. Look up the Magnus and Moss Warranty Act. There's plenty of paperwork, plenty of documentation all over the internet about this thing, and it's basically protecting your rights to your factory warranty. So I appreciate you guys watching. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel right below on this side or this side, wherever it is, and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified when I put up future videos, and we'll see you guys in the next one.